How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Road to the Final card. It's another very popular Bundesliga card, uh, this time Lucas Klosterman. Of course, his base card is very popular, especially at the beginning of the year. I mean, I still see people using it. Uh, it's a very, very good card. So I was really excited to try out this boosted version. Of course, it uh, has potential to get upgraded. Now, they are in a tough group with United and PSG. Now, PSG is kind of struggling. They've lost to both Leipzig and United. So I don't know how that will work out. I think it'd be you know, pretty funny if PSG found themselves in the Europa League. But, uh, you know, either way, you could look at it. Uh, you know, if he comes, if Leipzig come in third, you know, he will, I guess, go as a Europa League card and have, I guess, a higher potential to upgrade. Or, of course, you know, maybe they'll go deep in the Champions League like last year. So uh, it all depends. Now, he has some great links, obviously, that Mukiele objective, if you did him, that Malong, as you can see, the SBC, but which, by the way, is very good. And then you have the Sabitzer storyline, which should be out soon. The Forsberg. So some really good options, you know. And uh, being, you know, German Bundesliga, you can make some very good squads. You can see we were able to hybrid it up a little bit and use that Kunde as well, which, you know, forms a very good partnership in the back. But, uh, yeah, very good, very good, you know, in terms of linkability and, you know, potential to upgrade, I guess. So uh, we'll get into his stats. Uh, we'll start out with his pace, of course, one of the popular, I guess, stats on this card. Uh, 81 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. He is rapid for a center back. One of the quickest center backs in the game. And, you know, he's, he's that pace is very valuable. You know, it really allows him to keep up with the top tier attackers in this game. Like Mbappe, uh, you know, Neymar, Aubameyang. So, pace is great. And, you know, you can really sense uh, that and the agility, which actually isn't that high. You know, the stats don't look great. 67 agility, 63 balance. But he's not a clunky player you know his mobility his lateral movements uh just allow him to uh defend far easier you know it really allows him to keep and contain uh those agile dribblers and stuff like that so a uh, very mobile center back which i do like uh, and then you know on the ball he's very he's relatively good and composed out of you know playing out of the back and just on the ball in general so i do like that as well which makes him a very well-rounded center back uh, you know, he's got the 86 reactions, which is great for a center back to, you know, I guess, uh, you know, auto blocks, uh, interceptions, stuff like that. Uh, and then 77 ball control, 75 dribbling, which is decent. Uh, 81 short passing, which is actually a very good stat as well, which, as I mentioned earlier, you know, will mention it will uh, uh, show in his ability to play out of the back. And then defensively, you know, as as I'm sure you guys have seen, this guy's a very good tackler and you know reads the play as well very very well uh, he's got the 84 interceptions 87 defensive awareness and then 88 slide tackle and 84 stand tackle uh, and then the ability in the air as well you know he scored i think a couple goals for me so he's a good threat off you know set pieces he'll win his 50 50s so uh you know great great stats here he's got the 85 jumping and 81 heading accuracy uh, physically, he's he is six foot two, which is a you know a good height, but he isn't exactly a a tank, if that makes sense. You know, he's got the seventy five aggression and seventy eight strength, which is probably it's not necessarily a con, but it isn't uh, where you'd want it to be. So I would definitely boost it, and I'd hope uh, that it does get upgraded because it is noticeable in the way uh, he tackles. He's not um, powerful, you know. He's He's more of a a smarter, uh, well defensive. I, I don't know exactly how to describe. It. I hope you guys know what I'm saying anyway. But uh, but I mean it's it's not really too much of an issue. If I was to ha point out a, a small issue with the card, maybe that would be it. But I mean overall, it's a very good, well-rounded center back. You know, he's got the pace, the tackling, the ability to read the play, good on the ball abilities, can play out of the back. So overall, I think it's a you know obviously a top tier center back and one of the best in the game. And I would highly recommend it. So that's going to be my review. Please like the video. Of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.